Sometimes wearing glasses is the bane of people's existence. Whether there's the reflections in them, glare, or you may not want them at all. Or you may want sunglasses. Here are three different methods of having glasses, removing glare, removing the glasses, or adding sunglasses. Okay, we have this picture of these lovely ladies out at night, but the bane of their existence, they've got glare on their glasses. So let's use generative fill to remove it. First, let's grab our quick selection tool, zoom in, we'll do this lady first. Let's make a selection, hold your shift key down, make a selection of the other one. Now let's go up here and expand the selection by five pixels. Let's type in remove. And just like that, the glare is removed from her glasses. Let's move over to the other lady here. And we'll repeat the same thing. Make a selection. Hold your shift key down, make a selection. Now this one's gonna be a little different because half of her eye is selected as well. So let's go up to generate a fill. Expand the selection by five pixels. We'll go up and type remove. Now out of the three selections, I like number one the best. Let's zoom out and they both have the reflections gone. Now, if you wish to clean up, create a new layer, call it repairs. Let's zoom in again, because as you can see, there's a little bit of white here. So what we can do, we'll grab the new remove tool, make sure it says sample all layers, and we'll just drag over top, and it'll put it back. Do the same thing for the other lady. And bam, the glasses are complete again. Zoom out, glare is gone. Now, while working on this picture, what if the ladies didn't want their glasses in the picture? Yes, they can be removed. So let's zoom in to the first lady here. Now we're gonna use quick mask to make our selection. So hit the Q, make sure you're painting with black. And just go around the glasses. Make sure your flow's at about 100%. Make sure you grab everything. Now, now the thing we want to preserve is skin and such. So if you can, change to white and just go around so we can save the eye on the inside. As much as we can save the best for the transformation. Hit Q and you've made your selection. Now invert the selection, Control Shift I. Go up to Generative Fill, and type in Remove. Now, out of the three selections, one, two, three, I think number three is the best as it put back some eyebrows. Now, if you want, remember, there's a layer mask. So what a person can do, reduce your brush, make your flow about 10%. Now, if you want to clean it up, make sure that the eyes and everything is cool. Make sure you're painting black. Lower about 10%, and let's clean a couple of things up. Make sure that the eyes are pristine. All right, now let's move over to the other lady and do the same thing. Make sure your brush, 100% flow. Q for quick mask. Let's make a selection around the glasses. Remember to paint black. Let's grab the glasses. Q. Now, as you can see, the selection is kind of cutting in to her eye and the eyelashes. If you want to fix that, hit Q again, paint white, just remove a bit of it. Let's keep as much of the original face as we can. Hit Q again, good selection. Control Shift I to invert the selection. Go up to generative fill and hit remove. Now, out of the three options, one, two, three, I think I like number one the best. Eyebrows are still intact, everything's looking good. So let's zoom out. You can go before, after, before, after. Well done. Now, if a person wants the exact opposite and they have no glasses, but they'd like to look cool with sunglasses in the evening, 
This can be accomplished as well. So let's zoom in. Let's hit quick mask. Make sure you're painting with black. Make your brush a little bit bigger. Now, let's paint over where the sunglasses would be. Now, a selection is the most important thing about this. So if you want to create a figure eight around approximately where you want the sunglasses, cue for the quick mask, make sure there's nothing else is going on inside. Control shift I to invert the selection. Go up to generative fill, create sunglasses, enter. Now you're given three options, one, two, and three. Let's zoom out. I like the third option, but I'm going to hit generate again. One, two, three. Number three isn't too bad there, but just for argument's sake, I'm hitting generate again. One, two, three. Number three looks really good. So let's stick with that. All right, let's do the same procedure for the second lady. So we'll do a quick mask and we'll paint around the eyes, a little for the side. Let's make sure we have the eye, a little bit for the nose piece. Paint the eye, a little for the side. Make sure your selection's how you'd like it. Q for quick mask. Draw shift I to invert the selection. Go up to generative fill. Create sunglasses. Enter. Now let's zoom out. Selection one, selection two, selection three. I like selection two. That looks real cool. And now we've created sunglasses where they never existed before. Cool stuff. Removing glare, removing the glasses, or even creating sunglasses are all three things that the Generative Fill does well. If this video helped you at all, give me a like and subscribe. You won't break a nail. Leave me a comment. I'm Don from Photo91.